Hey. hey. Okay. Welcome back to Sipping and, and Tripping. Trippin'. How's life? How you doing? How's life? How you doing, sis ma? Sis ma. So, as you guys know, Facebook has been acting up full. Top of the top. It had of today. no creativity, uniqueness, nerve, or talent today. That's what it was being. Yes. A smart person would know what it was. Don't give it to him. No, we won't give it to him. Don't give it to him. Don't you sit here and give it to him. Don't give them that man. Oh. The Facebook tried us today. They did. They they thought that they was gonna stop us from getting this exclusive oh, hot no. tea. But I got I got exclusives tonight. Blue that thing on the, the newsstands yet. I was How busy. You doing? I was busy trying to you know stalk a Facebook profile earlier at work instead of working, and it wouldn't let me. And I was like, what the fuck? And I like restarted my phone, and I was like, oh my god. And it made me sad. And well, then everybody started posting about it. I was like, oh. But can we have a word from, from our sponsors real what's, quick? Oh, what's our sponsor? Oh, look at no, sponsor. Don't worry about our sponsors. Everybody so, look at my boobs. So, okay, we're going to go. So, our first sponsor tonight is none other than Skeptic Distillery. Tonight, we're drinking Skeptic Distillery drink. And the drink we're drinking tonight is called Genesis. Mm. Hmm. What you know about a Genesis? Genesis. Honey, we have paired this Genesis drink. With none of the, none none other. So I'll be trying, honey. I'll be trying to get there. But I'm not there yet. I ain't got Oprah check. When I get Oprah check, I'll be there. So I'm gonna try one more time. Let me get Kale's check. Somebody's. Let me get let me get Robin Roberts check. That's a good check. That's a good check. Let me get Jesse Smaller check. Oh, he ain't got one no more. No, no, no. Anyway. No. So no. Skeptic Distillery. This is their gin right here. Oh, mm. It's delicious. Mind you, back in the day, I couldn't even drink gin because gin just reminded me of everything I did bad in my life. True. Because I didn't make gin. Gin make you But see this it. gin right here, <laughs> it is so beautiful. It's so smooth and it's so delicious. Mm. So I actually paired this because I wanted to do a twist to gin and juice. Because people, they drink a lot of gin and juice, rolling down the street, mm-hmm. sipping on gin. Mm-hmm. You just ate yourself. And gin and juice, I heard it on the radio. Let's go back channel. Look like right. <laughs> oh, we want three. Oh, anyhow, they, 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 they did. They about do. I'm trying now. Don't give it we too much. Old, but old. instead of doing orange juice with this gin and juice, I paired because I wanted to try a little different. I wanted to think outside the box, but I wanted to be citrusy and like little. Mm. Mm. Oh, I still need a little ooh ah la sensation. Right. So stunning. for that, well, it had to be stunning. Had to be stunning. So for the ooh ah la la sensation, I paired it with ruby red grapefruit juice. Ooh, not the cheap stuff neither. No, ocean spray honey. Yes. But they don't pay us, so it was cheap stuff. Okay, and we gave it a <laughs> splash of lime. And a splash. Oh, we want to show them what we're doing now. And a splash of lemon. And then we mixed it up. We stirred it up. And then I, I made. See, for me, I like to put a little bit more of skeptic distillery Ooh. in my cup, honey, because it's just so yummy and it's so good. And I just like to really get get my life get and feel my oats and the flavors. So um, I want you guys just to get your oats tonight. So I want you guys to run out to your nearest store, if you're in the Chicago area, mm-hmm. and get you some what. Skeptic Distillery. Honey. Because, honey, it is, it's everything that you want it to be. It's everything that you need it to be, honey. I'm going to get a little yes. picture. So this is what it looks like. I want you guys to know, when you see it, what it looks like. Mm-hmm. And the bottle's gorgeous. Isn't it? So, that's a word from our other sponsors. Hey. hey! We already told y'all once. We done told y'all twice. All your custom units, wigs, hand-tied, hand-tied. lace fronts. Lace fronts. All given to you by who? Haired by Javelin. And you better get to her. Bye. Kaiser Creations is the place to go for all your personalized apparel, darling. Cups. Bags. Shirts. And more. More. Kaiser Creations got you covered. All right, and we're back. Oh, hi. So, hope you guys enjoyed that break. Hope you guys went out real quick and got y'all some what? Skeptic Distillery. Something to sip on and trip on, you know. Y'all know what I'm over here doing. Y'all know I'm over here sharing it. I was um, actually interning somebody tonight so they can do all this for me so I can just come up and talk. But, you know, they got fired. They didn't, yeah. <laughs> they didn't qualify. They didn't meet the proper... <laughs> The proper requirements. requirements in order to be... for the position. You know, because when you want to be on Sip and Sip and Sip, you got to be ready to sip and trip. True story. And you got to be ready to have and let have. Okay? So, and, and also, we have an audience tonight. Hey, audience. Hey. So, we're going to say hello hi to everybody. But, we about to get into it. So, I'm going to give a little, I need a little splash. A little splash. Hold on. A little sip. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Baby. Did you put some juice in there? Mm-mm. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. Well, I tell you, <laughs> when you drink a drink and you can taste the raw flavor of it, it gives me the chills. True. Give me the chills. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
this is and this is my rendition of Jenna Juice. It's called Genesis. Mm. Baby, because this is gonna be the first. Oh you right going? now. How you better. Going? So anyway. first up, if anybody's been paying attention to the news to actually any station on television today, they're calling it oh girl, I forgot what they're calling it. What they calling it? A scandal. A scandal. Uh, scandal. Operation what do they call it? Something Operation stupid. White People Going to Jail. True story. <laughs> And you know what? Now, me and Dan actually talked about this. Okay, hold on. Let's get to the tea. Get to the tea. They, they say <laughs> so, too much. So, you guys remember Aunt Becky from the hit show Full House? Yes. Well, honey, now she's about to go to the big house. The big house, yes. So, child, they've been paying people to change their children' SAT scores, mm-hmm. take the test for them. Yep. Child, to get, um, to get college um, Admission. admissions through scholarships through different teams that these child don't even play on. Yeah. How you doing? So among those caught was Miss Aunt Becky from Full House, Lori Laughlin, and uh, of Desperate Housewives, no Taraya T, uh, Felicity Huffman. They they going to jail. And so they, like you said, they've been paying people to either take the test for their kids, or change the score, or change the answers on the test after the kids take the test. They bribing coaches. They bribing school officials, everybody. It's for giving everybody some Scandalo. money. Scandalo. Now, what y'all can do, if you hit that dollar sign, sipping and tripping on Cash App, is you too can send a little child to college or put some gas in our tanks. One or the other. Or keep us drunk. That part too. It's How a scholarship fund. Uh, it's called Give Us Some Money. Okay, but my whole thing right here is that when me and you talked about this um, topic earlier, mm-hmm. we were both like, Oh my God, this is going on. You were like, "No, nah, they ain't gonna go to jail. They gonna they gonna pay a fine." Yeah. However, I found out that a black woman, I believe it was in Michigan, mm-hmm. she had her child going to a school in a different school district and had put down the wrong address. Child put down the wrong address. She lied about the address. You know, black people do that sometimes. Yeah. We do. But she wanted her kids to get a better education, so mm-hmm. don't fault her. Mm-hmm. And she 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 didn't she didn't do that, what they did. They lied. And honey, up. she got three years in prison and a thirty thousand dollar fine to pay to the school district. Mm. Her kids probably made their school district better. Hello. How you doing, school district? Mm. So it's lots of cases like that, though, of, of people using different addresses to try and get their children in the better school districts, and they're being punished for it. But here you go, having these people who have millions of dollars trying to pay their kids' way into college, which may I add, I think is the whole problem in the first but place. But Lori' daughter said she didn't want to go to college. All she wanted to do was drink, party, and turn up. Oh. She wanted to live the life of a YouTuber. She didn't want to go to school, sis. Like, first of all. If your kid is dumb as a box of rocks, Ooh. just because you got money, I mean, that, you, maybe your child didn't learn a trade. True. You need to go to trade school. Maybe go to hair school, nail school. Nothing Find out trade. what your child like to do. You over here got your child going to college. You got other people who now they can't go to college or what the college they want to go to because y'all didn't suck and did all the things y'all had to do for y'all kid to get in college for them to fuck up. Nah, suck. They, they got to be sucking. Ooh. You know they suck. They do suck. Oh. You never heard about it? I never heard about it. Chad, it's coming out. Wait. Okay. You know, it's like the Jesse Smollett case, the Arcata case. It just keep growing and growing and growing. Yeah. We, we're going to get down to everything, it. Everything, yeah, everything going to come out. I just, speaking of R. Kelly. R. Kelly. So he was arrested again. His bond was $161,000. Yeah, it was his last back. Week. Uh, and mind you, he couldn't even pay the sixty. It was his back child support. Well, somebody went and paid his child support. Yeah, he again. out free again. Hide your wife. No, she might be all right. Hide your kids. <laughs> Hide your daughter. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, cause those chains are still click 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 clicking up at the Trump Hotel where he living at. Had your nephew. he had a very entertaining. He's staying at interview. the Trump Hotel. What you at the Trump Hotel? How you doing, Trump? Hotel. I just wouldn't. That's what I wouldn't do. People already not it's like. It's bad. Like, right they don't like. But you know what? It makes sense because I mean, the person tweeted out about Jesse Smollett, but they ain't tweeted out about this person. Who tweeted out about Jesse Smollett? That person. Oh. In the Oval Place. Oh. Mm. Boom. But that you ain't tweeted, you ain't tweeted out about the other person or R. Kelly. So this is my whole gist about the situation right here. Child. He ain't got no money. Who paying that rent? So one of these dumb little hoes out here, these nappy head hoes out in, the, out in these suburbs that ain't got no sense. I think Come Over paying for it. Oh well, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. How you doing, Come Over? Anyway, forty five. Share it, baby. Y'all share. If y'all share it, it's open. We're public. We're here. I'm gonna share. I will share. I will share because I want to share. I want to shake. I haven't given out titty shake in a while. You haven't. I'm gonna be real extra tonight because I didn't really see this happening tonight. So tonight I'm gonna let let have. Okay. Anyway, Wendy Williams is back on TV. 
Finally. She got I mean, back this week, right? Yes. Oh, we didn't talk about the interview. Oh. Sorry. Y'all seen the interview. Yup. Our Girl, Kelly's interview. We a week late. Y'all know that. We, we had a we had a very important uh show, a different special last week, so we we a week behind on some of these hot topics. But if you hadn't caught it just real quick, SNL did a hilarious skit of the R. Kelly interview from this past Saturday Night Live. So it's super funny. So check that out on YouTube or whatever. After you like and share our video on the YouTube or whatever. Okay, could y'all like and share? There you go. So um, like I was saying, so Miss Wendy back, the queen of all media, mother, she's back. And she's back at home, rightfully so. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, on a, now, she's been back for this. This is week two. She's been back. So, the other day on her topics, she slept the N-word. Oh. She was talking, and she was like, these, bruh, don't know how to act. And she was like, y'all know I get real comfortable. And I'm Wendy. You know you could have just, I mean, but I'm really mad about that. And here's the thing. She's been at home for, the, what, three weeks now? Three weeks. Three months. Oh, well. I mean, she's not used to She just... But when you on TV, you know the things you can and can't say. True. Like, you go to church. You know you can't talk about in church. <laughs> but people do. But you shouldn't talk about it. But they do. But you shouldn't. I mean, I, I, I actually know people. I will not say their names. I'm uh, talking, maybe a couple of other couples. Uh, but these get these salaries. They actually did things like that in church. So... Funny quick story. I had this boy take me on a date once to oh his God. church. This is about to go real bad. No, 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 no. We went on a date, and he took me to his church because he like played music, so he played the organ, so he showed me organ and like the music rooms and all and that stuff. What it was happened? cute. Nothing. Mm. Scandalous. Mm-mm. Hello, everybody coming up in here. <laughs> so like I was saying, Wendy Williams is back. However, Wendy Williams is now in a beef, honey. Mm. Today on her show, she said. Um, Howard Stern has a new book out. Okay. And she was telling people about the book. Okay. She said, I'm probably not going to read it. Oh. Y'all should buy it. So she goes, because he's not been the same. He's kind of Hollywoodish now. And she was like, but you know, I still love you, Howard. Y'all buy his book. I haven't even heard anything from him in a long time. I mean, right? that's what she was saying. He's very Hollywood now. Yeah. So, honey, Howard she wanted to tell her how Hollywood he is. Oh. He went on a 29 minute straight rant this morning on his radio show. Oh. He called her. Various names. I love Wendy, so I am not gonna tell y'all how he called her a squid. Oh, oh, oh how she said, how he said she looked like diarrhea. Oh, how he said she was a humpback in the front. Oh, I'm not gonna say that. My whole thing right here. If you want to read, you want to spar, you want to go back and forth. If you cannot, if you, if your read is only on the surface on what people see. People think it was already out there. Maybe you can't read. Because, baby, I'm going to tell you some stuff. When I read you, I'm going to talk about how your grandmama almost swallowed your mama. Oh, my God. I'm going to tell you how your grandmama was out here messing with Mr. Earl. And that's your mama real daddy. You got to do a research. You got to know. You got to keep a card in your back pocket. True. Like, if I'm going to say, like, I like for instance, every time I fight with somebody, first thing they say, that's why you faggot and you were gay. And you fat. Girl. Is that, all you, is that all you can clock me on? <laughs> I can clock me on more than that. <laughs> so you're not going to do your research to clock me on something else? Right. At least say, set, 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 something. Could you come at me harder than that? I've been a fat faggot for a long time. Girl, <laughs> it don't hurt. First of all, if you can sell me something that my father hasn't told me already, <laughs> bitch, you're on to something right there. You are doing you something. Are you are on to something, okay? But I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. It's just not my tea. It's not my cup of tea. I feel like when you want to read somebody, you got to go deep. You got to go to the surface. I want to make you angry. I feel like for her to say what she said, right? It was a honest opinion of hers. It, was. it wasn't bad. It was just like... It was know. a back-handed compliment. Yeah, I wish call it a compliment. No, well, no, well, say, cause she said, oh, right, but like, she complimented him within it. But it was backhanded. Yeah. But what I'm saying, like, well, he should have came back and said, well, you know, Wendy... I'm glad that your health is finally right. Are you ready to be a stepmother now? Ooh. Or are you going to take another three-month leave that with the baby a born? That you got to come with the shame. Yeah. Howard, call me. Because, baby, well, I tell you, if Wendy would have came to me, I would have got Wendy together in two in two seconds. I would have gave Wendy a one-two punch. I would have been done. And she would have been like this right here. Bye. So she would have been on TV for the next two days, okay? I would. I'm just saying, like, uh. you have to know your opponent. You over here coming to her looks. and We know Wendy shake like capital P. <laughs> we know this already. Like y'all could keep clocking her saying she like a man. That woman gave birth to a baby. That's not a read, honey. That, I mean, who call her Wendell? Somebody call her. Because guess what? 
a lot of y'all men's out there like women with extra parts. Well. By y'all here talking. Well. Howard. Who's how you look? doing? Who's, 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 whose diary are you reading right now? I cannot. Diary of a mad black woman. What you're not going to do, Mr. Howard White Man, with that nappy ass hair, is come for a black woman. As a, after the month after Black History Month, you should not go do right. a We're month still after. Fresh. We still we, fresh. We fresh. It's still fresh. We still got Wakanda up in us. What you're not gonna do <laughs> is come for her like that, <laughs> Howard. So Howard, you know what? Fuck you, Howard. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Have several seats. And that came for myself because I didn't even know I was gonna say that. And the only reason why I watch your show is because it's real nasty. I watch it on YouTube because I mean on YouTube and stuff, but it's real nasty when I watch it. But I don't watch it for like content. He do be, he do be doing some nasty. Cause cause he a, he a fag in the bag. Ooh. Remember they call you a fag in the bag in the bus? No, they just call me a fag in the bag. Honey. In a bag? In a bag. What the bag do? It's, bag? Like, it's like you in the closet. Oh. They know you in the closet. In the bag. It was a read. You a fag in the bag? I was a fag in the bag, honey. Wow, I never heard that one. I ain't in my bag no more, bitch. I'm checking <laughs> the bag now, boo. Ah. And you in my inbox. She won. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Lord Jesus. So, you know, I feel like if we can take two hands and push you down, if we can't give you a hand, lift you up when you need to be lifted up, what are we there for? True story. So, this next story, we're going to give love, light, and positive energy to none other than Kim Kardashian West. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> we gonna keep this nice. Kimberly Kardashian West. Kimberly this Kardashian. This is not the first time we've lifted her up though. No, it's she's not. Done, she's done some good stuff. But how many times have we drug her? True. The what did she do though? That's why that booty's so floppy. Oh, but, but we're not gonna give her a backhanded compliment. We're not. We're not. So no, hold on. Now. So let's not go backwards. What she do? So Kimberly Kardashian, a man who got out of jail from prison reform, he tried to get housing, tried to get a place. He cannot get a place. Kim has went out of her way and paid that man rent. Oh. Not for a year. Oh. Not for three years. Oh. But for five years. She paid if you can't get on your ones and twos for five years, okay? Maybe free rent. Kim has said, I'm paying your rent for five years. Go out and get you a job, stack your money. And if I baby you got first of all, you can take a whole year and get your life in order. True story. You got four more years not paying rent of Hello. just getting your shit together. Hello. Kim, I commend you, girl, because a lot of people they walk, but they not talking. True. They say, oh, what well, can you guys help me donate? Kim said, baby, I got the money in my account. Right. This, I'm going to help. I want, I want to see where my money's going. So, Kim, I commend you for that. Mm-hmm. But, Kim, now that we commended you, we lifted you up, I have to say one thing. Uh-oh. You are rich. You're paying people rent for five years. Very rich. I hope you help us one day. Hello. But I'm going to leave it at that because, girl, I ain't going to be messing with you tonight, Ooh. sis. I won't be messing. I ain't going to be messing with her. What's she going to do? Because she, she is a do? beautiful woman. She's... Attractive to some. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> you know what? She's a beautiful woman with a with a beautiful heart. Because Kim is doing things that, like, first of all, Kim could have did that and just did it. You know, I what feel saying? like a lot of celebrities are scared to do stuff like that though because it it people might say, oh well, you did his, not do mine, not do mine, not do mine, and why you pick him and not somebody else? But that's else why I like life. the way she's doing it. She's helping people who need the help. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She so is. so two dollars. So kudos. 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 Cheers to you, to Kim. Kimberly. So, Kim, we're going to have a skeptic distillery drink on you. Mm. How you doing, Kim? A real loud How you doing? One. A real so, loud one. So, now we got to talk about my baby father. Baby's daddy? He, he, oh, he going to jail. He going on child support. Ooh. On child support. The Empire check about to run out. So, Jesse Smollett yeah. is still in the news. Yep. You, okay, so this is my thing right here. I was, I was so angry. I was so furious. I was so upset because I felt like I'm a black gay male. And I feel like if something happens to me out in these streets or anyone I know I love, who gonna believe us now? Because you didn't make this whole story a sham. Yeah. And I was on YouTube and this drag queen, Bob the Drag Queen, hey Bob, shout Bob, had made a status. He said everything I said word from word. Mm-hmm. He said they ain't been believing us. <laughs> they ain't, nope. He that said Jesse ain't did nothing <laughs> to get it out. And when I took a step back yeah. and I looked, I said, oh, okay. She I'm lied. still mad at you. Right. I'm still upset with you. He never lied. I'm still furious, but Jesse, what you did was some bullshit. Yeah. And I honestly want him to go to jail for a year. So, how I do. He got charged with 17 more counts. 17 counts of 17 felony counts. Well, not all felonies. It's misdemeanors and felonies. Oh, uh, okay. But this is by the grand jury Ooh. on top of the ones he had. So, they waited. So, what happened was 
he lied the first time, those are counts. Right. But they waited till he went on TV, make him lie again. Wow. Because now you lied again, yeah. that's more counts. Wow. So, honey, she going to jail. That was just sad. And, I mean, a piece of me wants to go out and commit a crime real quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, so wait. Has Jesse posted bail? He out, right? He out. He out. He out. He out. He out. Okay, well, he got a little coin. Bitch, he ain't trapped in the closet. Hey, he got a little bit of coin. Okay. He's out. So can we move on? I was going to say 20 cents California real lit right now. Huh? Girl, it's <laughs> lit. You know, like every other Girl, day. Where the men at? Right. 20 cents California. They all at 20 cents California. Okay, but anyway, life. let's have a little quick word from our sponsors. Kaiser Creations is the place to go for all your personalized apparel, darling. Cups. Bags. Shirts. And more. Yeah. Kaiser Creations got you covered. I'm so sorry, guys. I really, 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 really need to update our Kaiser Creation commercial uh-uh. because I don't agree with everything up in here. <laughs> I'm a little lit right now. There's a there's a former staff member oh. in the in the video that is no longer with Sipping and Tripping. Y'all probably know it's quiet now, and uh, the commercial needs to be edited. But we are still sponsored by Kaiser Creation. Yes, we are. Boom, boom, cap. We Braised are still by Shima. Braised by Shima. Hair we got a shout hairs. out. Oh, oh. Miss Javelin. Hair by Javelin. Miss Javelin. Miss Javelin. Miss Boogie Shop. Oh my gosh. And it was one more, wasn't it? Skeptic That's Distillery. It. Skeptic this Distillery. This is my favorite sponsor right here. This, this is, is our favorite sponsor. First of all, it's one of mine because I love my shirts. I love our cups, our merch. You want a shirt? You want a cup? Inbox us. Boom. Boom. But our Skeptic Distillery, we are sipping tripping. How else could we sip without, how could we trip without sipping? True. It gets me my life in order. It does. You know what? I was feeling mighty low. Oh. I was feeling mighty down. My, I thought it was going to bring out that Negro spiritual room. I was going to the glass of that color purple. You messed it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm mighty low. But I saw that skeptic distillery in my closet. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. My life been better. Ooh. Yes, we love skeptic distillery. We here. do. And we're planning some, some future events with them. Oh! oh spoiler yep. alert, spoiler alert, keep spoiler alert. We're gonna show you guys. We're gonna do, do some behind the scenes of, of Skeptic Distillery yes, and how they are. create this beautifully Hello. crafted alcohols, vacuum distilled at fifty degrees. It's some sciencey stuff, y'all. It's very science. It's like know science meets liquor. Craft. Craft. <laughs> and it makes liquor. Boom. Who would have known that science and crafts make liquor? True. Martha Stewart is on something. She had science. Who? Martha. She had the craft. She's craft. Yeah, I wonder if Kraft macaroni and cheese stop and right there. Please stop. No, no, <laughs> no sweetie, no. Okay. <laughs> well, can we talk about Jennifer Lopez? Finally, booty, 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 booty. 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 Her and now longtime boyfriend A Rod both finally both serial Baby, wedding people. He gave her a he gave her a, a hailstone, huh? a, a, like a like twenty million dollar ring. Yes. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's everything. First of all, Jello has had every ring to have. Somebody Pink diamond, <laughs> yellow diamond, that diamond. <laughs> Somebody put up a picture said if JLo get one more ring, she's gonna have more rings than uh But guess the what though? Championship bulls. But you know what the gag is? J Lo is a woman who can go out and get her a man. Mm-hmm. She can go get one of those young ones, one of those old ones, one of those poor ones, one of the rich ones, and she gonna still have a what? A uh, man. True. Would you not? We not gonna come for J Lo. Right oh no no no! I love. What we are gonna come at is that how Jose Casecos, oh, former best baseball player who was doing those steroids, so everybody told everybody else T when they were on steroids. Oh. He said, "Congratulations, J Lo, but I hope you know, A Rod still sleeping with my wife, ex wife." I thought A Rod was gay. Well, let me give you a little tea. Oh, well, Jose Casecos when he was on those steroids, honey. <laughs> He, you know, his thing thing went work, work. Right. So his wife said, well, baby, we need to have a threesome. Because him and A-Rod were friends because he was always at the house. Yeah. So they were already the best around. She just wanted him to see. Exactly. So, allegedly, according to his book, y'all go, oh, we going to get this book. Allegedly. allegedly. Allegedly, according to his book, honey, he went out and they had a threesome with Jose Canseco and his wife. And he said he was, he said it was extremely enormous. Who's? A-Rod. A-Rod. Oh, they were going to for nothing. He said his wife was in ecstasy. Oh. And so I want to know what was he doing while right, your like wife was on the You know, there's some people, I mean, some people into that stuff. It's like, But it's, it's three of us we supposed to be doing it. So, A-Rod, was you getting a little licky, 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 lick from the, Jose Canseco? In Cosecos? the back, in the back, in the back. I want to know. I, I, I'm requesting the videotapes oh. to be sent to Sippin' and Trippin'. We can review them. We need to get us a P.O. box. <laughs> <laughs> this is my house, child. I need to... 
I want no in between interference. <laughs> I need to see these takes. Right. If you cannot produce the takes, we can reenact it. I feel like I've heard that before, though, that A-Rod. Oh, it's a book. Yeah, no, I, no, I feel like I've heard that A-Rod is kind of like... But you know, j don't care. Because you know when she used to date that little boy that was a dancer? What was his name? Casper, the friendly ghost. They said that he was up in New York at the uh, bookstores in the back. Oh, yeah. Honey, how you doing? And that's a T I heard on bimbowinehouse.com. Mm. True. Who else J-Lo done been with? Mark Anthony. First of all, Diddy. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's go with the short list. The short- Who has she not been with? <laughs> Us. Let's move forward. <laughs> so, and John Mayer. I feel like she hasn't been with John Mayer. Ashley? Mm, I might John, have to take that back. I don't think. He get stooped. his ass around, too. I don't think she's stooped that low. Because remember, his penis is racist. Oh, yeah, that's right. He, yeah. His penis don't like brown people. But yet, you always in an Andy Cohen face. So, John Mayer, maybe your penis is not like vagina. <laughs> Boop. Anyway. I would watch that tape. I wouldn't. No. Mm. Andy Cohen cocky. I mean, two old racist gays. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what you doing it for? That's the culture. For the for the gram. I mean, first of all, check your nose, Andy. Anyway. Oh, wow. I'm just talking about I love you, Andy. Oh, listen, we're trying to get on brown. Kathy Griffin said it. I'm just repeating what they say. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. We're going to be blacklisted before we ever even start. Well, at least we've been on the list. Hey, I'll be on the list. I'll take a list, honey. <laughs> take a list. I'm on what list? That list? That list. Cool. I'm, I'm that girl. That, that girl. That, 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 that girl. Boom. So, Nicki Minaj, mm. they're making headlines again. Ooh. You know, she started her world tour over the seas. Oh. And it's been selling out. Really? However, she's canceled her. She's on her second cancellation for the same exact reason. There's not enough power in the venue. So, you There's tell me. There's not enough power. Yeah, they don't have enough generators for all her illusions. So why wouldn't you scale back? So when you go and you do your rehearsal, y'all don't use all the lights and stuff and see what's going on? Well, you know, she probably got to make sure the power stay on because, you know, her boyfriend probably got some kind of monitor on him. And you got to keep that box plugged up, honey. Well, guess what? She canceled her second one. Her first one, the fans were upset. And uh, um, people that came out talk for her, they were talking in a different language. And they were saying she just don't want to do the show in a different language. She didn't even know. The fans tell her, sis, he dogged you. Ah! Well, this one right here. Yeah. Let me give you the tea on that one. You ready for the tea on this one? Oh, no. I was, she didn't even come out this time. Oh. She came yeah. out the first time? Yeah. Oh. The second time, she didn't even come out. But you know what the fans start doing? What? Cardi B. Cardi B. Cardi B. Bitch, your fans don't fuck with you. They really don't, though. And now, ever since that one right there, y'all want to get a little tea? Her tickets that went on, uh, buy one, get one free. How you doing? Not the tourism. And they price cut. Not the tours on clearance. I mean, like her love life, buddy. Oh, no. And her weave. Just and that body she That had. body she bought. <laughs> Girl, that body was built in a basement. Uh, How you doing? Room. Anyway, can we get on Oprah? What? Okay, so what did Oprah do? Because I've been here, I've been seeing some of the worst pictures about Oprah all week. They done Wait, colored this woman let white me have a and drink gave her blue eyes and gave her blonde hair. And they say Oprah is not for the culture. She is not for the people. So, everybody knows... Michael Jackson was acquitted on several child tr- child molestation on several charges. charges of child molestation. Ness. <laughs> okay? So Watch now Ness. Girl, Ness, <laughs> bitch. There's a whole lot. So now he did. I guess they want to dig him up and put his courts. Or maybe he's in the wall, I don't know. But they, but they want to get him. He's in the wall, yeah. He's and they want to the throw him up in the jail cell. Because, okay, so now it was a new documentary came out. Called Leaving, Leaving Neverland. Neverland. Maybe I watched it. We watched, watched it at it. work. I watched the body language. I was. I didn't believe nothing they said. These are the same ones who sat there and said he never touched me. Never this. Never that. But here's the thing. And now he did for all these years. Right. All of a sudden, well, he did touch me. Oh no, that one man, honey. Not not the Wade one. You know Wade Robinson. He kind of he had some fame as a dancer. I kind of recognize that. Thanks name. to Michael. That other boy though. A man or whatever we want to call him. When I tell you that man sat up in front of that camera, honey, and gave his whole life story. But he also wanted to be an actor. But he did. also wanted to be an actor. Take them to accountability. I just take that to accountability. The part that got me the most was. But you sat on that. You but you saying but the same man. Yeah. Sat in a courtroom. Yeah. Under oath. So did his parents. Mm-hmm. So did all the parents. And, and that, Michael bought them houses and trips. And that's and the stuff. part that killed me. Was, First of all, if Michael had touched me, you didn't know I wouldn't tell nobody. I just It'd be our secret steal. <laughs> the fucking parents sitting there going, "Oh yeah, well, you know." When that woman Michael said she was glad he died and she laughed and she got up and danced, I wanted to slap you, bitch. Wow. 
You don't laugh when somebody dead. True. Because while he was living, y'all was still feeding off of him. You like, even when you said, let's go back to it. I watched this documentary, okay, y'all? Michael did this, and I, I stopped hanging around him. I told my mom, woo-woo, right? Boom. But yet, you still bringing your fiance around him. You still coming around him. So that means you still on payroll. So you so mad. But the money's so good. Girl, bye. Have several seats. Bitch, you lie. You just a good liar to them. I saw right through you. Oh, I wish I had a glass right now. Baby, I saw through you. I don't believe it. I mean, I feel like it's right here. You got all these charges. Do I think something inappropriate happened? No. Do I believe something could have happened? Yes. I don't think it was what they said in it, though. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody gonna know now but him and Michael and God. But so. my whole thing is, like, first of all, it's like, why would y'all wait until this person has been going for so many years to find your voice? Because the estate stopped paying them. Hmm. There's a song here in my heart. The mama sitting there in the seat talking about, uh, well, you know, Michael and him would stay in this house, and then we could pick whatever room we wanted to stay in. In a in guest house. house. First of all, you know what? I If it happened, I think they knew it happened. Mm. And I think everybody was okay with it. Mm -hmm. Boom. Let's move on. But Oprah, oh, Oprah, how she in this. So Oprah has decided to go out and take the interview nobody else wanted. They interviewed him and do a whole documentary. I was, I was just started watching it. I ain't finished it yet. On the Leave It Never Land. It's, about, it's bigger than Michael. It's not about him. I just want to talk about how it can be romanticized and all this and all that. Okay, I, I understand that. I get what she's saying, right? However, we could have been doing this when he was alive. We could have took this man a test when he was living. And we did. And what happened? The court said there's nothing there. Mm. Nothing. Now all of a sudden, there's everything. Child, I'm not gonna mute Michael Jackson. I'm not. Mute Michael Jackson like muting your life. Who about to mute Michael Jackson? How many people do you have to mute by muting Michael Jackson that he inspired? He is cultivated. Child. Girl, bye. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep living my life. That man is dead and gone in his grave. And guess what? He has to deal with God now. So if he did it, he paying for it right now. If he didn't do it, y'all can pay for it when your day come. Boom, let's move forward. <laughs> I don't know what happened with these two. Because I don't care. Kylie and Jordan. <laughs> so everybody know that Jordan, our new sister to the show, was seen out messing with Kylie. With Kylie's sister, Chloe's baby daddy. Now, in the Kardashian family, that's dick, like normal. Dick of the town. And if you guys know, let me give you like a little brief rundown. Kim dated the game, slept with him, and then Chloe was out, spotted, twerking on the game, which the game came out and said he slept with three of them. So I don't know who else the third one is, but he said he slept with three of them. Boom. Well, he said it could be a Jenner, too. Boom. How you doing? I think it was uh, Kendall. Oh, I think it was Kylie, because she's fast. <laughs> and then she's fast. Chloe dated two men that Kim's friend, Trina, the rapper Trina, dated James Harden. And um, French Montana. Okay? And then, you see, so much in advance. Kylie dated Kim's friend, Black China, baby daddy. What's his name? Tiger. Tiger. So then Black China turned around and said, but, Bitch, so, I'm fucking your brother. To me, it's just like, if you want to be a Kardashian, you got to sleep with one of their men. I bet you. If right you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. I bet you right now, in this very moment, Kanye West is going Courtney's back out. Oh my God! <laughs> season two, season twenty six. Kim, I'm pregnant by Kanye, mm -hmm. and I'm sorry. Your kids, sister, cousins. Kim, it was an accident. I fell on top of it, and please don't be mad at me. Mm. Plays. Plays. So, Kylie and Jordan have not lost contact. Mm. They were out spotted having lunch. Mm. They're still being friends. Mm. The family has disowned her. But Kylie said, I'm keeping my friend. Ooh, ooh I'm going to keep my friend. Because <laughs> she knows that her sisters are some whores, and she is too. Wow. And, and Jordan just. All of them. Jordan was just initiated into the family. Congrats, Jordan. You're in a sorority now. You're a Kardashian, sis. Hello. I just move forward. Trial by pussy. Baby fat. Baby fat. Kamora Lisa. Baby fat. Kamora Lisa said, Bob, baby fat, honey. 
They fax coming back. She bought it. She bought it. We bought it back. Oh. They're coming back. The gag is, people, you know, us, uh, black like this, now black like that, had boycotted Gucci and other name brand peoples. Mm-hmm. So now, you know, we got baby fat coming back. So I mean, I, I mean, there's always a city trans that never left. It never left. It never left. So baby case, fat, look, Kimora Lee Simmons was for the culture, honey. So if y'all looking out, and people are uh, petitioning that Beyonce bring Darion back. <laughs> <laughs> which Darion was a knock, didn't do that. This was a knockoff version of Baby <laughs> Right, it was, wasn't it? How are you doing? Darion never did that great, it seems like. It didn't. And then when it looked, and when it went away, i show you how smart Beyonce is. When it went away, you just stopped li- hearing about it. There was no big thing about old Darion's over nothing. You just stopped hearing about it. Darion could still be found in City Trail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. For real, though, for real, for real. City so, Trail. Let's get to our last topic right now, y'all. Y'all ready for it? Dots. I miss dots. Mm-hmm. So you let's get on that topic. I do. I love dots. Oh Jesus lord, Jesus. this is about life of dots, Sonia. How you doing? Ooh. So B two K. Everybody know they kicked off their tour. Yeah. Which was the millennial tour, <laughs> which I hear is a hot ticket, honey. Scream tour too. It's one of the hottest tickets right now. They got everybody there. Did they kick Bow Wow off of it? He was never on it. Oh. He was never actually on it. Oh, he was never invited. But however, as of last night, honey, how you doing? Uh, Raz B said he would quit the tour. He would not be there because he felt like Chris Stokes was up in there somewhere. And if you guys don't recall, Raz B made a several accusations that Chris Stokes made him and allegedly band member, what's his name? It's Amarion, it's Raz B, Lil, Lil Fizz, Fizz, and J Book. There we Chad, go. He said he made J Book and Raz B have sexual relationships with each other in front of him. And Marcus Houston as well. Ooh. So, honey, and Marcus Wait, Houston. Wait, wasn't Marcus married. Houston one of their cousins? He, um, or Marion's cousin, I believe. Oh, that's nasty. Child, they said they was all having. They girl, they said B two K. Then Matru was having, honey. Oh my god. Child, but Chris, cool. But what's his name? Chris Stokes looked like look. But they said that he looked like Chris Lug. Stokes had nothing to do with the tour. J Bug, so so J Bug, he made he he actually did, he actually de- deleted the post. Mm-hmm. He came back and was like, you know what, y'all, y'all keep praying for me. I'm going to work and recover. recovery, honey. I had a little moment. We good. I'm on a tour. Girl, first of all, you know you broke. <laughs> but you know you have no other talents. <laughs> you know you have to get that coin. So you're going to do what you have to do as a woman, honey. So if you got to bend it over, bring it up, drop it low, drop down, get your ego on, do what you got to do, sis. We're not going to judge on Tripp and Just come here and talk and tell us about it. How you doing? Oh, well. Exclusive anyway. interview. Exclusive with uh, Messier, Messier, Little Fizz. Was that one? No, that was my baby father. Though. Oh, uh, I remember when I was a little girl, I got <laughs> on the bus, and me and the straight boys, I'm gonna say their names because we're Facebook friends. Hey, y'all, y'all know who y'all are. We used to talk about which, which B2K man we liked, mm-hmm. they were supposed to be straight. Mine was always Little Fizz because he was just like, bah! to me, honey. Wasn't Ras, didn't Ras B come out at some point? No, he never came out, honey. He said he's heterosexual. He actually re- released a porn tape. You can find it on my visitor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was very nice porn tape. Tone. Anyway, our download alert. Wow. Sing it in. Download. Alert. So, Boom. this week, we want to go back to the millennial. You know, B2K is out now making music. Yeah. What hot person do you want to see come back? For me... I wouldn't mind if Chinga Ling 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 came back one more again. It was like a little bop. Chinga Ling Ling Ling. Hey, Chingy. Ling, ling. I mean, I know Chingy likes, you know, certain kind of ladies and everything, allegedly. Oh. So maybe we can make some music together, Chingy. running fame. Yeah. Um, I feel like they weren't really a millennium band, but they were a little bit after, but they're actually back now. Ooh. The Jonas Brothers? So they're back. They're back. They're not millennium, though. They're not millennium, no. So they don't a little bit after, a little bit after. We'll go like Blue Contrail. But um, they got a new, a new single out. And they're back together. Yeah, and it's the, cute. And everybody thought they were changing their names. They didn't. No, they didn't. They're still Jonas Brothers. The they're Jonas still the brothers. brothers. Yeah. It was still the same old, same old. Yeah. It was like they pulled a song that they had off the shelf and threw it up on the record player, honey. We didn't even get into the shade I had about the housewives. But Nene has Nene Leaks has unfollowed followed every housewife except for Eva and Shamari. Oh. Yes, honey. She's upset. She's angry. She said Cynthia Bailey has never been her friend. She's only been a co-host. How you doing, Nene? Aww. And she said, and she's trying to comfort Portia. Well, first of all, Nene, I understand you upset. I understand you mad. But, girl, she's not showing your anger, honey. You know, Candy got that tour going on right now we need to go see. The dungeon. The dungeon. Mm, I'm going. Sex dungeon. But anyway, Ugh. 
this was a show I didn't think was going to happen tonight. No, because Facebook was messing up the church's money. Acting like little. We need a celebrity crush real quick. Oh, so my celebrity crush is going to go to none other than the sexy, bald-headed pit bull. Oh, pit bull. He's bull caliente. Oh. Mm, he okay. makes me want to speak several different languages. Mm, how you doing? They make me want to build a wall and jump over it. How you doing, Pitt? Wow. Um, okay, since we're going with music, I'll go with Maluma. Because he's fine as hell. Mm. He's a Spanish. Is he Spanish? Right? You know what he is. He's he, he fine. Mm-hmm. I know that. Yeah. He uh, fine as hell. Well, Check him out. Look him up. He got he got several sexy songs and videos where he like he just enjoys taking his clothes off, apparently. For whatever reason. Uh, well, there's a reason. It's fine. Well, we love you guys. We do. We want you guys to make sure that you guys all check out our sponsor, Skeptic. Skeptic Distillery. Look out for bottle. the uh, interview and behind the scenes coming with them. Yes. Uh, later this month. Yes. Later this month, There's y'all. Mm-hmm. And we will see you all, guys, back here when? Next week. Next week. Same place, same time, different tea. It'll be earlier. Just a little bit. Yeah, it will, it will be on time. How about that, Facebook? How about, How about you, you get your stuff together, Facebook? How about you do that, girl? I was going to say Mark Zuckerberg, but who don't even own them no more, do we? Girl, who cares? <laughs> Facebook. Facebook. Get your stuff together, girl. Because what you did to me, it was foul. It hurt me. It hurt my feelings. It hurt my heart. It broke me in pieces. I'm falling apart. Okay, see you next week. Bye. Bye.